Hey guys, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Today we are on chapter 8 of my book and this is all about lips and lipsticks. And I have a couple of charts in this book talking about cool, warm and neutral lipsticks, what's going to work best for you, also how to pick a lipstick to bring out your eye colour. So you guys can go and check that out. But in this video I want to focus on finding the right nude and finding the right colour for your complexion. Starting off with finding the right nude. And to me, a nude color isn't about whiting out your lips or making it beige. It's about finding your undertone and working with that. So finding the natural lip color when you have nothing on your lips, choosing that exact shade and muting it very slightly. And the easiest way to do this is to take that lipstick that's identical to your lip color and then just mix it up with a little bit of concealer. And this way you can actually adapt it depending on how far you wanna go either side. But it's always gonna work for you because you're starting off with that exactly right color, which is your natural lip color. And this will make the perfect nude every time. It takes a while to find the right lipstick that's your lips only better. So it's basically exactly the same color as your lips, but you will find it because there is a shade out there for everybody. Now moving on to color. When you're choosing a color, I'm gonna to stick to reds because it's the easiest. You basically wanna go off your undertone. And I talk about undertone in chapter three, so go back to that video and go back into the book and find out what your undertone is, whether you're cool, warm, and neutral. And this will help you find the perfect red. Finding the exact right red will help you find all the other shades to go along with it. Because once you figure out whether you need a warm red or a cool red or neutral red, it will help you decide on all the other shades that are in that spectrum. But let's not overcomplicate it by talking about all the different mixtures and the pigments that are used in lipstick. You basically just wanna have a look at the shade and also the shade name can be a hint as well. So this color right here is a perfect example of a cool red. It has more of a, like a purpley blue undertone and that's what's going to really work to bring out your eyes, bring out the color of your teeth and make them super white and bring out your complexion if you have cool skin tone. And this shade is actually called fuchsia and if you hear the name fuchsia or pink or blue in a lipstick it usually means a reference to the actual shade which is more cool toned. And just by comparing this shade with its sister shade, these are exactly the same shade, they're just slightly different tones, you can really see the difference in the tone. So this one is called Pure Coral, and this is gonna work for the warmer girls because it's gonna bring out the golden tones in your skin. It's really gonna brighten them up, brighten your eyes. The only thing it doesn't do is work really well with those teeth. It may not make your teeth look super white compared to a cool tone, but it still will bring out the color in your complexion. And that's kind of the main thing, especially for people who are very warm toned. So this is just a perfect example of how different tones can work within the shade range. Exactly the same shade, completely different tones. And I don't wanna complicate anything even more, but I do wanna say that your shade from light to dark can also make a little bit of a difference when you're picking out the right tone. So for instance, this red right here is gonna be a great one for darker skinned girls. And on paler girls, it'll look a little bit dark, a little bit moody and a bit gothic. So you have to take your shade from light to dark and your undertone into consideration when you're choosing a lipstick. But if all else fails, go for a neutral and just make sure that it's suitable for your skin shade. There are a million and one different combinations of lipsticks out there with all these different tones in it that sometimes it can be just overwhelming. So if you guys could really help me with this, it would be awesome. Leave a comment letting me know whether you are light, medium or dark, cool, warm or neutral, and also what are your favorite lipsticks? So what works for you? What works with your different complexions? Cause that would be awesome. And if you wanna head over to my Instagram, the link's in the description box. I'm talking about a couple of my favorite lipsticks over on there, sharing some of my favorite ones. Use the hashtag, the makeup chair lipstick, if you wanna share some of your favorites in a picture as well. Just tag me, the makeup chair lipsticks, and I will be able to see it. And I'll talk to you guys next Monday. Bye guys. Your eye shape can be dramatically changed just by the way that you apply your eyeliner. It elongates it, round it, length. Thank you, my new makeup lesson. Lemons. What do you think of that? Oh! With your little face and everything. Oh! Yeah!